Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Now, the Lord has spoken with me, beloved listeners. I want you to know that the Lord, the God of Israel, He has spoken with me, beloved listeners. And um, Jehovah Elohim, our eternal creator, Jehovah Adonai, the sovereign Lord, Jehovah Elion, the Lord Most High, Jehovah El Olam, the everlasting God Almighty, He has spoken with me today, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And in this conversation this night, the Lord has spoken to me about the coming of the Messiah. And in this tremendous continuing conversation between heaven and earth regarding the coming of the Messiah, this is what the Lord has spoken. And the Lord has spoken in an open way. It is not concealed or veiled in any form. And this is regarding the glorious coming of the Messiah and the events that are now happening on the earth. I see a country, and that country, I see a mountain on that country. In that country, in that country, I see a mountain. And I think that mountain has some form of mining activity going on. I see as if it's brownish soil in that country. And that mountain is exalted. And there are lots of big caterpillars and tractors and cheaper lorries. These lorries that scoop things and put on their back and go. And I think they're carrying some stones also, I see. Up on top of the mountain, there are roads. I see the roads that the lorries are using to go up the mountain with the caterpillar tractors that scoop those rocks. It seems that there is mining activity ongoing in that country. And then I see a tremendous earthquake hit that land. A huge historic earthquake hit that land. It is so big that the caterpillars come rolling up the mountain with rocks that they were carrying. They come rolling down to the buildings down where people are living. And I see some of the rocks come and hurt people who were sleeping, who were in the house. I don't know whether they were sleeping. Looks like they were sleeping. But the rocks come and hurt people. Again, I see a country, I see a land, and in that land I see a huge mountain, and it looks to me that on that mountain there is a lot of mining activity ongoing. And I see a huge tractor and a huge caterpillar. I see many caterpillars and tractors and lorries, huge lorries, huge tires, big lorries that carry rocks from that mining activity. And I see also the roads, the routes they use to climb up the mountain around the slopes and name it. And then a tremendous historic earthquake strikes that land and strikes that mountain. And I see the tractor, the caterpillar, rolling down with rocks that they were carrying and coming and hurting people down here where people are living, the habitation. And then the Lord, from where I am standing, I see him taking me right now into the tall buildings of that country where there are elevators. And then I press, I see myself pressing the elevator and we are waiting for the elevator to come but it delays, the elevators delay to come. High up on top of the building, top, top, tall building. But when the elevators come, then a huge, that huge earthquake shakes the elevators and the doors, instead of sliding, they swing slam open. So I'm not able to use the elevator, I run and I see this tremendous risk, danger, tremendous danger because I see the building, I am almost falling from top. I'm about to fall from a very high storied building as the earthquake shakes 
and breaks open the building. I'm about to fall down, all the way down. I have lived and seen that future day that is coming. I see a tremendous earthquake that is coming to a land that has a mountain, and that mountain has mining activity ongoing. Now, the Lord has spoken with me about the coming of the Messiah. I see the Messiah coming, but the church, the Messiah text, is a holy church, a righteous church, a glorious church, mature church, a church that is away and free from sexual sin, a church that is separated from defilement and this immorality that is sweeping across the entire globe. A church where the false prophets of Nigeria, false prophets of America, false prophets of Africa, of Europe, are not operating. Where he has shut them down. He has shut down their false mouths and tongues. I am talking about the glorious church of the firstborn. The church of the firstborn of heaven. The church of Christ the Messiah. The church that has separated herself from the deception of this day. The lie that you see in the church today. And when you look at the church in the United States of America, it is totally awash. It is now floating in the sea of deception. And you wonder why they cannot see the truth. Why none of them can stand up and say, you people, this is enough, this thing is wrong. Nobody seems to know the truth. Nobody seems to stand up to rebuke the others and say, this road we are following is leading to hell. Let's go back to the highway of holiness. Nobody seems to help the others. The same thing in Africa, in Nigeria. Nigeria is the heart of deception in this world. With false prophets that you have to go see and you are carrying big lumps of money. Every time people from South Africa have to go there to see them. With big sums of money. Since when did Jehovah send Jeremiah or Isaiah to Israel and Isaiah asked people, Israel, to pay money to receive the message. Since when? Who has bewitched the church of Christ? Why can't you use the Bible as the point of reference? Why doesn't the church use the Bible as the balance of the scale, the weighing scale to weigh if the Lord has spoken? Why is the church of Christ in such deception? And yet the signs of the coming of the Messiah are right here. The church is in witchcraft, carrying money to take Nigeria in order to receive a prophetic word. What kind of gospel is that? The church in the United States of America is in immorality. Women are naked, even on Christian TV. They are naked and they cannot see that they are naked. They cannot perceive that the Messiah is holy. They are not able to know that. And they are running big global TV, so they are shaming Christ. You see false prophets speaking there as if they are comedians, joking. The Lord is saying that this is the hour for repentance, to clean up the entire earth. And that's why he's bringing massive power to clean up the ungodliness of man. To clean up the deception of men, the disobedience of men, the immorality of men. I have seen an earthquake coming. The Messiah is coming. I have seen the coming of the Messiah. Those who have ears, please listen to the words of the Lord and prepare in repentance and absolute righteousness and holiness. Shalom.